and down. Up. Give myself a little bit more light. Ready? Yep. Let's do it. Hello and welcome to the new show. I'm back with Mr. Hugo Pilcher. Hello. Wearing a different hat. Indeed. I don't like that one. Oh. Right. Just prefer your other hat. All right. Uh, anyway, some sad news. Uh, Fred Beckley uh, passed away. He's a legendary dirtbag climber, uh, American Yosemite climber, and was just like right at the beginning of that whole revolution towards climbing. He was pretty uncompromising in his uh, ethics, and so yeah, sad to see him go. Yeah, original dirtbag. Yeah, he had a good segment on uh, Valley Uprising. Again, we're plugging that film, but it is an amazing film. So uh, if you want to catch a little bit more info about him, go and check that out on Netflix. I think it's on Netflix, isn't it? Yeah, it is on Netflix, yeah. Right, so quick news roundup. Uh, I'm going to start with Jonathan Segrest. He yep. is back in Catalonia in Spain. Back in uh, Spain. Hitting up Europe with his girlfriend, uh, Sheena Savoy, and they are going to crush, basically. Yep. This is kind of like, this isn't news now. But no. Last time he was there, he climbed Pachamama, which is 9A+. We're expecting big things, so it's kind of 9B. You reckon 9B? 9B. Jonathan, you're going to climb a 9B. I've got faith. Uh, Rocky, Rocky Mountain National Park, um, Dave Graham has been sending, sent his 8B plus project, Mirror Reality, which we first brushed and tidied up in 2009. So it's like an eight year project. And he eventually sent it the other day. Um, there's a really cool video on Instagram, uh, which actually we might just have a little cheeky sneak of now. A long time to have a project that. Eight years, yeah, for sure. But I think it was like, like he said, it was like 20 sessions, so he must have kind of co yeah. come and gone and yeah. that kind of thing. He's not but just yeah. sat there for <laughs> Yeah, he's just camping out. <laughs> okay, also, uh, Jimmy Webb is crushing in Boone in South Carolina. Uh, he took on a V14 Third Eye Awakening. Um, check out his Instagram for the stuff that he's doing, but he's out and about and he's sending hard like normal. Yeah, my favourite climber. Your favourite climber? Yeah. yeah. Big, tall, strong, beardy, sometimes. Like me. Yeah, sometimes. I could grab it. <laughs> I can do it. Um, so, uh, repetition now. Uh, Baptiste de Herbouli. Here we go again. I'm, so, I don't, I'm sorry, French people. Uh, so, he's uh, repeated Salamander 9A+. Plus, yep. uh, in the Haute Savoy, so in our area. Yeah. Uh, so, back door. It's kind of meant, meant to be a very, uh, very bouldery crux section to it, like horrible mono pocket thing. So, yeah. pretty cool send there. That's pretty close to us. Yeah. You could, you could head down there and give it a try, right? It's my future project. Yeah, nice one. Yep. So last week we got a comment at the bottom of our YouTube channel from... Eric Frizard, who commented on our brilliant French pronunciation, but as well he also thought that we should have a little segment where we talk about upcoming events. Yeah, so uh, in, in the nature of that, let's kick off with uh, the Moonboard Masters, which is the craziest idea for a comp I've, I've seen about. So basically, it takes place in four different countries. So we've got Sheffield in mm -hmm. the UK, we've got New York in America, we've got Barcelona in Spain, and we've got Osaka in Japan. The teams of climbers taking part of this, again, bonkers. We've got Alex Magos, uh, Margot Hayes, Miho Nanaka, uh, other people I can't remember, but the <laughs> top, top climbers. Daniel Woods. Daniel Woods, yep. So there isn't a huge amount of information about how this is gonna work, but the, the electronic moonboard, right, is, yeah. is a normal moonboard, <clears throat> so kind of like camper style setup with LEDs on it. So what you do is you create your boulder problem, you put it into an app, you then click on a boulder problem and the moon board lights up showing you where to go for that boulder problem. And anyone can sign up, just the app is free, you download it, and then if the moon board's at your gym, you can climb people's problems. High tech. It is very high tech. So, so what I figure, right, is it might be a sort of, so Alex Magos and Margaret Hayes, they're the German team. Uh, what's your name? Maybe it's in Germany as well, I don't know. Anyway, so they're climbing, um, and I presume they build a problem send it over to America. Those guys try to climb it. They then build a problem. I, mean, I don't know, but that's, the, that's kind of what I presume is going to happen. I wonder how that's going to work visually on a live stream. Surely they... I don't know. I don't know. There'd be some kind of like coordination between the teams, I imagine. Yeah. yeah. But no, that's cool. It sounds interesting. If you want to find out a little bit more about the moon board and about how it works, check out our episode that we did with them. Uh, just go into YouTube or Epic TV and type in moon board uh, climbing daily. Yeah. We'll put a link in. Yeah. That's probably a bit idea, actually. <laughs> What's with the... Uh, the LED system, that's like a new sort of development to the moon board. It basically sort of brings colour coding to the problems. So we've got an app, um, which I can show you, uh, which basically lights up once you select a problem and you press a button on your, your smartphone, it lights up the problem, the holds that you use for that problem. Another uh, event that's coming up is La Sportiva Living Legends. Uh, if you don't know much about this, every November, the Kletter Centre in Sweden hosts a competition for some of the best boulders in the world. Um, 
they take it in turns for like males and females. This year's it's the females' turn, and so far there's Shauna Coxie, Melissa Lenev, Katja Kadic, Stasa Gecko, and P P Petra Klingler uh, are, are on the roster. Those five climbers are the confirmed climbers no, so far. No Yanya? We, we're not sure because she's on the website, there's yeah. a picture of her, but it doesn't actually say that she's competing, so we're not sure. If, if Kletter Centre are watching, let us know. Are they, is she competing? Because she's sure. defending champion. She's she the defending last, champion. Last women's one, she won it. Yeah, so like two years ago, she won it. She crushed it. Hmm. Um, so you, one would expect her to be there, but we'll, I don't want to confirm it without it being confirmed. But other than that, those other five climbers, they're pretty strong as well. But we're going to be there. We're, we're going to be it. there. That's the most important part yeah. about this, is that we're going to be there reporting, getting behind the scenes kind of action. Um, yeah, we've been there for like the last kind of four years and it's a great, great event. Mm -hmm. Uh, Crange is the next one, uh, the final Lead World Cup of the season. Now we know the women's comp is sewn up, Yanya's won that. The men's is still a bit up in the air. It, it, it's sort of romance to lose at this stage. Uh, if Stefano wins it, Roman's got to get a pretty good score to make sure he wins. So he's going to basically win, make finals? Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, it kind of depends on Stefano really, what, yeah. how he does. Stefano, sorry. Stefano. We've well, got that pronunciation wrong as well. Uh, but yeah, so it's, it's all a bit up in the air. But something I saw on Instagram, like a little rumour that I presume is true, is that Shauna Coxie has signed up for it. So yeah. she is doing her first lead World Cup ever. As far as I'm concerned, I think yeah. it's her first. Yeah. Okay. So that's a big step. So we know recently she confirmed she was going for Olympic selection. Uh, she's now, she's been training in Innsbruck on that massive lead climbing wall. She's now entering her first lead climbing comp. So it, it, it's, her intentions are clear, like she is, she's, she's going for this. Yeah, definitely. Um, predictions, where's she gonna come? I think she's gonna make the final. I think she's gonna be strong. Like I've got, she's been training. I don't think she's the type of person to enter a competition without being completely prepared for it. So I think she's gonna go and boss it and she's gonna probably surprise everyone by making the finals and possibly even podium. Mm. Um, the problems recently have been super bouldery. It kind of suits her style. Like, it's just like a boulder. It's like, instead of doing like five boulders one after the other, or four boulders one after the other, she just doesn't like one in one go. Yeah. So she's probably gonna do really well. I, I think if she, I think if she got to semis, that would be a real achievement. Like, right. I, I don't doubt that she can't, that she's good enough to make the finals. It's just, it's such a different environment. And like we've seen someone like Hashima, who's arguably one of the best climbers in the world. Her initial first World Cups were like settling in, bedding in, getting used to the format, and I think, I think it's, although Sean is used to bouldering competitions, I think it's different for the lead. So I, I think you may very well be right. Um, but I reckon if she made semis, her team would sort of see that as a real achievement, I reckon. Yeah, fair enough. We'll see. We'll yeah, see. exactly. What do you guys think? Where's she going to come? Get your comments in quick before the weekend so that, uh, yeah. yeah. I'm it's, gonna comment. It's, it's fair. I'm commenting on Monday. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. Um, who's your favorite bouldering lead climber? Uh, I'm gonna go for Yanya. It's a pretty obvious answer, but she crushes, so. That's no, really What about yours? John Wonchon. And why is that? Okay, right. <laughs> okay, this is weird. He, uh, he's a really, really nice bloke. Yeah, he's a lovely bloke. He follows me on Instagram. Okay, that's good enough reason. He's also a robot. What? No, he is. Like, I, I, I'm, I'm not being rude about him, but like, you see those tape things, and he's got all those pictures, and he's, he's just, he, he climbed, when he's on form, he climbs his problems, and it's like really static, and then he's just, nails everything and he's got tape all over him and he's just focused, he, he's, he's a robot. I am not a robot. Anyway, videos, we've got some videos to come on up. What videos uh, have you been checking out that you like? I was sent a video yesterday by a guy called Anton uh, and it's a his first bouldering movie, his first climbing movie he's ever made set in Fontainebleau and it sort of follows the journey of this group of friends. It's really different. It's, it's long. Uh, how long is it exactly? It is 12 minutes, 20, isn't it? 28, 28 minutes. 28 minutes. So it's like an investment, but what it does, <laughs> yeah, investment in bouldering goodness. But it, it follows the sort of stories behind the boulders. It gives it time. It shows the working process and it's, it's beautifully filmed. Like it really is gorgeous. And the, the color grade is crazy good on it. My one is a, an Indian bouldering movie from India. It's about these uh, Indian boulders who are bouldering, sending super hard. Yeah, obviously they're bouldering. Um, sending super hard and they basically are fully, fully committed. Some of the diners that they do is insane. And 
Some of the scenery is amazing as well. I found this line last last year in 2014 when I came, and that time I saw this crazy dino, and I just fell in love with it. That's on handpicked from the web, and they're picked to be part of the website as well. Cool, that's it, really. That's it, yeah. Lovely, that's a new show done. Uh, thanks for watching. This weekend, I'm heading off to Manchester. Yeah, have fun. Filming, filming, thank you. Nice. You're, you're not coming, are you? I'm not coming this time. That's, yeah, who are you going to hang out with? Uh, a better, I mean, a different cameraman. Yeah, fair enough. Uh, but yeah, filming with the uh, British Bouldering <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Filming with the British Bouldering team uh, at Rock Over Manchester. Nice. So yeah, should be cool. Cool, have fun. Thank you. See you later. See you soon. See you later. Bye. Bye.